Hey guys, welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we'll be working our way through one of the mini MCAT practice problems found at MCATSelfPrep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Andrew George, a 99th percentile MCAT tutor, and I'll be walking you through today's practice problem as if you were one of my private tutoring students. Be sure to hit pause and try this problem for yourself before watching my explanation. We're dealing with an NMR situation, and I know this because they say that we have integration values. Those are associated with an NMR. So let's go ahead and draw out what this NMR might look like based on the information we have here. It says one peak has a value of 57.6. So let's pretend like this is my peak of 57.6. And that means that the area under this curve should be about 57.6. And typically the height of the curve is going to be directly related to the integration value, AKA the area under that curve. So I'm gonna make this one 57.6. Now I need to make one that's 11. So that'll be about five times smaller, right? Another one that's 11, and another one that's 35.6. So that one would be about three times larger than those small ones I drew, about three-fifths the size of this one. So if I was to describe these peaks in terms of a ratio, I would say that this is one-fifth, this is one-fifth, this is three-fifths, and it is five-fifths, right? And notice that five plus one plus one plus three adds up to 10, Therefore, if each of these peaks represented a certain number of hydrogens, I could simply say that the tallest peak has five hydrogens, the second peak here has one hydrogen, third peak represents one hydrogen, final peak represents three hydrogens. That's one way to work through this problem. The other way is to actually do math and calculate these values exactly, but in terms of the MCAT, typically you can get things right by just eyeballing them and doing some easy approximations. Based on what we determined here, the peak with an integration value of 57.6 would likely represent half of the overall hydrogens, thus representing about five of those 10 hydrogens. Taking a second look at our answer choice options, that would make answer choice C the correct answer here. If you enjoyed this MCAT question of the day, be sure to give it a like. And for more MCAT questions of the day, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and enroll in our free MCAT prep course found at MCATSelfPrep.com. And if you are really looking to maximize your MCAT score, feel free to visit my tutoring profile page and request a free 10 minute phone consultation. I would love to chat with you about your situation and how you can maximize your MCAT score. I look forward to hearing from you soon. We'll see you next time.